Iran held a series of naval exercises at the start of negotiations on the seizure of the tanker. This week, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, held a naval parade just off Asaluya, a port city on the Persian Gulf. The timing of the announcement was unusual, shortly after the arrest of a South Korean tanker on Monday, and just before the arrival of the South Korean negotiating delegation. The IRGC news agency, SIPA News, reported that it organized a parade off Asaluya with more than 700 light and semi-heavy ships. The head of the IRGC, Major General Hossein Salami, and the head of the IRGC Navy, Admiral Ali Reza Tangsiri, were present. According to SAPA News, the exercise was part of the one-year anniversary of the assassination of Qasem Soleimani, the former commander of the IRGC, who died in a U.S. drone attack on January 3, 2020. The main message of this exercise is that both our armed forces and our people are actually the blue waters of the Persian Gulf and the water border of our Muslim homeland, said Major General Salami in a statement. IRGC forces seized South Korean tanker Hanka Kemi and its crew of 20 on January 4, the day after Soleimani's death anniversary. Iran claims that the capture of the ship is intended to prevent environmental pollution, but analysts say it is more of a geopolitical message and possibly an exchange effort. The South Korean government owns $7 billion in Iranian funds, which was frozen when U.S. sanctions were reapplied in 2018. If there are any hostages, then the Korean government is holding $7 billion belongs to us, the Iranian government Ali Rabieh said at a press conference earlier this week.